In this video, I'm going to talk about energy with regards to food and dieting. Food labelling around the world varies somewhat. On packaging in the United Kingdom, we have energy expressed in kilojoules and kilocalories, but the term calorie is somewhat ambiguous. Here's what I mean. The word kilo in engineering notation describes 1,000 of something, so as you may know, 1 kilometre is 1,000 metres, or 1 kilogram is 1,000 grams, but not so with calories. 1 kilocalorie is written as 1 kcal, which can also be called a large calorie, a kilogram calorie, a dietary calorie, a nutritional calorie, a calorie with a capital C, and a food calorie with units of cal, also with a capital C. It is also expressed as 1,000 small calories or gram calories labelled cal in lower case. As you can see, this is somewhat confusing as someone can say a drink has 200 calories or 200 kilocalories. Also, some people who are unfamiliar with the differences may mix up an initial lower and uppercase C. To avoid confusion, I'm going to use kilocalories which are expressed on packaging. Energy can also be expressed unambiguously in joules, so one kilocalorie is about 4.184 kilojoules. The power rating of this kettle is 3 kilowatts. This means that it is converting energy at a rate of 3 kilojoules every second. I could express this as about 0.7 kilocalories every second. It may be surprising to find that both food and electrical items can be talked about in this manner. Expressing the energy of food in joules or calories is like expressing length in feet or metres. You can refer to the same thing using different units. So how much energy is in one kilogram of body fat? It works out to be about 8800 kilocalories or, if you wish, 37 megajoules. If you wanted to lose one kilogram in one week, you would expect that you would need to burn an additional 1260 kilocalories per day approximately, assuming that your weight was stable to begin with. Now, it may be helpful to know your minimum energy requirements per day to function if we rested all day. As it is somewhat inconvenient to be subjected to laboratory conditions, we can use an equation to give us an estimation instead. My favourite one is this one. Weigh yourself using units of kilograms and measure your height in metres. Multiply weight by 10 and add this to 625 times your height. Subtract 5 times your age. And finally, add 5 if you are male or subtract 161 if you are female. So for a man that weighs 80 kilograms, is 1.7 metres in height and is 30 years old would expect to require at least 1700 kilocalories per day, approximately, if he rested all day. Of course, you can pause the video to examine the equation in detail. If that man went on a diet and consumed 600 kilocalories for one day per week, then I would expect that his body to take the remaining 1100 kilocalories from his body fat each week, assuming he had a stable diet and weight to begin with. I would say that it would take 8800 divided by 1100, which is 8 weeks, to lose 1 kilogram because 1 kilogram of body fat gives you approximately 8800 kilocalories. Of course, this is an approximation as in reality, people's eating habits vary as do their energy expenditure, amongst other factors. Also, that person may decide to exercise on one particular day and burn 800 kilocalories. I hope that I have clarified some of the confusion with regards to units and helped you with your calculations for your particular diet. I do not think there is anything wrong with mixing the terms calories and kilocalories with regards to food as it is easier to say calories. Anyway, that's it for another video. Thank you for watching.